Hi, in this new tutorial, I explain how to scale and place a reference image. This process also applies to any other references. First we need to set the unit of measurement in the workspace. In this case I set the meters, one because I am much better with metric and two because FreeShip does not support very well the feed as a unit of measurement and misses many calculations. I act of that onto view keystrokes in the video. Useful to better follow the steps I do. Then I add the background image, and I'm going to select an image from my database of references, and select the most suitable boat for a simple tutorial. In this case I use a project of a classic rowing boat. Here's a rowboat, a dinghy type, the project of the construction lines, complete and simple. Then I copy a segment, to be used as a virtual meter, and I act of the visualization of length, and I place it with precision, over the scale bar, in the drawing. I use an add-on, to add dimensions, this facilitates scaling. Being able to add decimals, and get an accurate result. Now use the Python console inside Blender, make computations required for scaling the background design. I multiplied 0, 03048 for 4 feet, and I get 4 feet, converted to meters, and after I divide the resulting value, by the value that I note, from measurements made with the segment. Then 1 2192, divided by 2 7132. The result must be multiplied by 10 meters, which is the initial scale value of Blender. The new result should be pasted in the scale of the background in all views, where we will put the reference. A quick test to determine if I did the drawing scale properly. Reposition the segment above the scale bar, and I adjust the size. Divide the segment into 4 to check that each segment is 0, 03048 meters long. Perfect dimensions, and the design is perfectly scaled one by one, but in meters. I can now start the manual positioning accurately the first projection from the top. To select the desired view, simply press the 7, 1 and 3 in the numeric keypad. The 7 key corresponds to the view from the top, the button 1 the front view, the key number 3 to the right view, and if you press the control key and then one of the previous numbers, you have the opposite view, top bottom front back and right left. Of course the pointer must be in the three-dimensional area Beginning with manually moving, changing the values of the horizontal axis, and the vertical axis. Approximating values, up to make coincide the drawing line, with the axis of the top view.
Rotate the image minus 90 degrees, so I corrected in the various views, the three-dimensional projection of Blender. I just have to flip it horizontally, this picture because it is incorrect, but I will in the next video, when start modeling tutorial, now here I forgot to do so. Fix better image placement. Okay so can fit. Now I add another image, for projection right side bruh. I select the previously loaded image, in quick integrated menu, however I need to copy the scale value, from the previous picture, and paste it into the value scale, of the view right. Manually fix the positioning of this projection, like I did before, using the horizontal and vertical axes values. Now do the front projection, where I'll do, what I did previously, but on this front, but I flip over like a mirror image, the reference image, because it is not consistent, with the views. Add even this view behind, I chose the wrong vertical line. In this view I made a mistake, confusing the bottom line of the cube, with the zero line of the axis Z. Beginning even the positioning of the last image, the one behind, And I split the cube in half, on the y-axis, to help me in the overturning, of the background image. I delete vertices in half negative x-axis, and check them.
Here's finished this hard work, this view made me lose more time, than expected. I delete Python console window, by merging the one superior, to the one below. I miss the centering in the front view. Then start to customize the workspace for modeling, divide them into four equal parts and set on the views needed for the continuous modeling in the next tutorial. During assembly video, I found several inaccuracies. In fact, in my haste, I made some mistakes, such as the incorrect assessment, orientation, I apologize for the various mistakes, but I keep thinking of doing it in less time, influenced the final result, I hope to improve in the next tutorials. As always I hope the video is useful to someone, 